Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and you are watching UFT tutorial series. The topic for today is environment variable. The environment variables are uh, either inbuilt or user defined and generally one of the way to pass the data as well to the script. So in the previous tutorial, uh, we just talk about uh, the data table in the uh, UFT that is data driven testing and there we saw that there are three different ways to uh, provide the source of data either it can be data table or random number or you can go ahead with environment variable as well so we are just completing the flow and we are getting into the third option so in the previous tutorial you already saw the data table usage as well as the random number so in case you have not been through that tutorial you can always look back in the description there is a link to, to assist you with the data table or data driven testing so here we will be understanding more about environment variable that how the environment variable can be created how it can be edited how where it can be used as inbuilt and when it can be used as an external and so on <clears throat> So here, uh, let's uh, get started with uh, the test exactly because uh, everything more is more on the hands-on understanding compared to the theoretical one. So here we have got a new test and all you need to do is prepare the XML parameters first of all and uh, then use it as environment variable and then we can use it in the script as well. So all we need to do is go to file so generally the environment parameters are used in terms of XML values or XML uh, parameters with the values. So if you know the XML, then you can write it directly in the text file and save it as .xml. If not, follow the instructions here. So it's easy to create using UFT. All you have to do is come to file and settings, come to environment, and here you will find an option variable type where by default it is on built-in you have to go to user define and say for example this is my application and I'm trying to create variables for the login page that is username and password so what I will do is I can click on this button here to add a new variable so click on this and define the parameter name so the parameter name is uh, say for example username and the value will be John say OK and that's how you create it click on another one because we would need two and I say PWD and the value is going to be HP that's the password for this application now this is an internal type of uh, environment parameter so if uh, we want you can use it still and say apply and okay but let me just quickly show you what's the difference between internal and external one so if you double click on this the parameter name will not be allowed to modify but if you come to the value the value can be modified so this is just to show you that an internal type can be modified if a user wants but the external one cannot be modified but for that you need to write the XML parameters in an external file but in case you don't know XML UFT can help you to do that job by clicking on this export button which says click to export user defined environment variables to an XML file so click on export and all you need to do is direct it to a particular path and save it say for example my underscore ENVT underscore var. Now that's an extension with XML so obviously that will be going to be XML file. Save and now if you want you can cancel this the reason is we would be using external one. The only difference between internal and external parameter is internal the value can be modified by the tester whereas external it cannot be modified. So just say cancel as we are not looking forward to use the internal but if you want you can temporarily create some variables and use it. So let's go for cancel so that the settings or creation of the parameters can be lost. Let's go to file, settings, environment, user defined and instead of creating an internal variable now you have an option here called as load variable and values from an external file. So check this option, go for the browse option here and pull that file which has the parameters. Say open now. Of course, I told you that it cannot be modified. Then you also have an option in UFT to hide the path. The path hiding option is called as automatic relative path conversion, which will say that uh, it will only show you the file name here once it is imported. If you say no for it, it will be showing you the entire path. So say yes, and you will see that it does not show a path here. But if you say no, that do not convert the path, let it be the entire thing, then it will show you the entire path of it. 
Now this is an external type. If you double click on this and try to edit the uh, name of it, you cannot. And try to edit the value, you cannot. So we just wanted to show you that the external are restricted to be modified and that, that shows in a different color as well. Now say apply, say okay. So this is the first part of it, declaring and creating or importing the external environment parameter values. Now, what we are going to do is prepare the script. And for that, I would need the objects to be there in the repository. So here, I, I already have a shared repository. I can just associate it. So for more details on the repositories, please uh, go ahead with the uh, tutorial on the repository. And you can just call the action one, say that use this repository. Now you have all the objects here. Let's move. Um, let me just make sure that this repository has everything. Yes, the agent name and the password name. So let's uh, close this. It's a shared repository. And all you can do is start writing the script. WPF window. And uh, dot is uh, WPF edit. Edit name is agent name. And dot set. WPF edit. Oh, sorry, the window. dot WPF edit, which is the password and dot set again WPF edit. So we'll just keep it restricted only to the login page. So we don't want to mess it up, but it's up to you if you want to go ahead with more details on uh, understanding the uh, environment variable, you can, it all depends on you, like what kind of parameters you want to test. So click and you're done. But as you see that we come when it comes to giving the value, we do not give any hard coded value. We just declare another par parameter. Say for example, uh, my underscore var one, and uh, this will be my underscore var two. Now we have declared another two variables which are going to be calling the environment parameters. So what do you do here is say my underscore var one. So declaration is here is equal to environment dot value open the brackets and use the parameter name which you created so for us it was username and close the next one is my underscore var2 is equal to environment dot value and the parameter name is pwd that's all, and you're done with this. Good to go. Let's create, launch the application. I think we already have the application here. And uh, just to show you that it works the same, I'm using a wait statement for three seconds just to show you the execution pause that it takes the right set of values. All right, there's a pause and HP. So that's all, it's done. So this is what we call it as an environment parameter, which can be used uh, within the script and it can be present either internally or externally. All you have to do is declare this way to the VB script by defining a parameter and the parameter will be equated to the environment parameter where the parameter name will be defined and it will be used. So now we do not put a hard coded value directly if your script or data set are in the XML formats. All you need to do is declare the variable and call the parameters from the environment. Now that's all from your uh, environment parameters team. In case you have any queries, feel free to comment below. If you have any clarifications, you can visit my previous tutorials. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel because we'll be expecting a lot more technical things coming up here after. So till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep practicing whatever you learn here. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.